What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Top Scrum Update Baseball Hobby Edition just sold out. This is a 12-box case break. Random divisions number one. Yeah, guys, six total spots. Everybody gets a random division in MLB. Remember, just no veteran commons will ship. Everything else will. And, of course, look for Chrome versions of the most sold out after rookie cards with multiple limited and numbered parallels. You know, uh, and it should be some good stuff here, guys. So here's the dice roller. Here's the customer name. So Emma down to Martin got those straight up. And then Martin and Devin won those in Capstones filler number one. And then, of course, there's the divisions, AL East, AL Central, AL West, NL East, NL Central, NL West. And uh, here we go. Roll. Three and a five, eight times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times, three and a five, eight. Emma down to... Martin, or sorry, Martin down to Martin at Emma. All right, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times, AL Central down to the AL West. Of course, those are your teams matchup. Martin with the AL Central, Emma with the NL West, Devin with the NL Central, Martin with the AL East, NL East, and AL West. So uh, there's that. All right, well, if anybody wants to trade right there, I'll give you guys a quick minute. Alright, I'm assuming no trades on guys. TWC. Oh, actually, let me take this off of inventory too. Now, from the boxes that I was ripping last week, guys, on Instagram, or two weeks ago, I should say, um, it wasn't guaranteed an auto in every box. I remember last year they created this as a mega box, right? And this year they turned it into a hobby. So there's no guarantee, at least from what I know, there was no guarantee in autos, but it kind of felt like every other box had an auto. And, um,. Potential had numbered cards and, and all that good stuff, but 
There's a lot of purples in here as well. And I'll probably rip six boxes at a time. Kind of breeze through this really quick so that way you know, I can post up another one if we have more and then obviously work on other breaks on the website. Claim number one for you. You can send it now if you want. I don't think I'll be able to show it, but we can talk about it. See if maybe we were on the same page. Maybe you missed some people. I miss people. No problem, man. Let me rip a couple boxes here. Maybe rip the first six, go through them, and then uh, I'll pull it up and see. But yeah, I, mean, I can try to t well, we can talk about it, and then I'll show it more probably after the break. Like you said, in between something. Because we can obviously, I, we can recognize certain, or not recognize, but once we see certain players, we'll know right away if it's really that bad. I feel like Rui Hachimura has got to be there. Before I even look. 
Am, am I... Am I one for one? Yeah. There's another player that recently in football was like worse than Rui Hachimura too. I will say though, I feel like, I think we were talking about it the other day, I think it was baseball. One of these more recent draft classes of, of a sport actually was pretty good. Had great penmanship. You know, once you do this worst autos, you're gonna have to do a best autograph, which would be probably even tougher to decide. Two more boxes, guys.
you later, man. See you later, Mike. Drive safe. Yeah. All righty, guys. Six boxes there. Let's go through the six, and then we'll uh, rip open the next. Mike Trout. Suzuki. And Penn Murphy is the autograph for Seattle. Nice. Seattle uh, is a... Uh, what, AL West, right? Forget the division. Yeah, AL West, no? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why MLB Divisions is like... I'm blanking on them right now. Yeah. And the purples are just base. Oh, it's not bueno. A stack of cards far right there. It's Bobby Witt there. Wander Franco. Benya. Benny of Purple. Wander Franco. J Rod. J Rod. with Junior and a Chris Bassett to gold to 50.
All right, third box. Jock Peterson. Looks like a cool insert. I'm just going to sleeve it. Torque. Neil Cruz. And a blue Josh Lowe for Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay would be uh, part of the AL East. Oh, BD, is that you? Nice. Um, yeah, no, you can use it. No, of course not. No, it's it's a uh, you can use it on numerous transactions. Um, so it, it's it never expires. Um, you can save it for however long you want. Um, you can spend ten dollars here, a hundred dollars there, five hundred dollars there. You know, uh, but obviously, I, I'd assume on your account you can keep track of how much you have. Um, so yeah, I mean, just you know, kind of keep track of it yourself. Um, but no, you can use it on, on, uh, on as much as you want. You can kill it all in one shot or use it for however long you want. <laughs> but congratulations on that, man. Wander Franco. And we got our second auto, Bo. Brisky? Brisky's? Brisky's? Uh, that's for Detroit. Which Detroit is for the AL Central, which is Devon. Suzuki purple. Whoa, look at that off center Sergio Romo. See that center in there? Good lord. Uh, yes, Dev. Yeah, here, let me show it to you guys again. Just in case. So Martin basically has everything. Basically, Martin, you don't have the NL Central and the NL West. So, like I said, every other autos, every other box is what I've been seeing in this. So, I'd assume we're only gonna get about six autos, give or take. All right, two more boxes, then we'll go with the next. Nick Castellanos for the Phillies. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say NL Central? I meant to say AL Central. Sorry, that was Martin. I must have said NL. I didn't realize that. Apologies, Devin. Don't worry, man. I mean, if it was like a mistake like that, don't worry. The shipping team doesn't go by what I say. Alright, 
Let's continue on. But yeah, Phillies, of course, is NL uh, East, I believe. And uh, NL East is Martin. It's our first Julio base I've seen. before I haven't really <laughs> I'm if I'm working here if I'm not I was just schlepping moving stuff from one unit to another uh, from our apartment complex got like a bigger place but uh, yeah it's just tiring so I even though I had two days off Saturday Sunday Monday I, I was literally just moving stuff up and down floors so officially though I have cleaned out the last place now it's just putting away stuff in the other place. All right, last one here. So uh, I need a vacation. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, or extra day off or two. Jose Miranda. Green to 75. Julio purple. That's pretty nice. Bobby Witt, Verlander. Steel. Alright guys, so these are the f three autos we've pulled so far in the first six boxes. Pulled a couple numbered cards as well. Usually I think when there isn't an auto, you do get a numbered card. So I think we've probably pulled at least three of those two, right? One. Two. Three. And three. So yeah, it looks like it's either you're going to get an auto or you're going to get a numbered card. So... Most likely six number cards, six autos. Just let I fly there. Oh, did you create like an actual like like website link? That's wild, man. Let me see. Hold on, I'll pull up Twitter. Where's the tweets? The Twitter sphere. Damn, that's legit, man. You made a whole website? You are very talented, my friend. Yeah, I gotta show this later, though, and we definitely have time. And then I'll drop the link in there, too. Oh, 
Oh, snap! What's up, Juan? How are you, buddy? It has definitely been a while, man. Nice, man. Hey, it's all good, man. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes life happens. Things happen. You know? Some people do get bored of it. Want to find some a new hobby or a new thing. You know? There's no problem. But as long as you've been well, man, that's all that matters. Doing good, you know? Ugh. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll, I'll vote and then we'll get to see how many more votes if anybody and everybody agrees on certain things. <clears throat> it's actually a cool thing, though, man. You should probably, like, try to, um, you know, send that to one of the, like, websites of, of the hobby, you know? Like, uh, like a Carbo Connection group break or something like that. Yeah, I don't know, Rex. I mean, I get it when something like something good or bad happens to somebody, an athlete in, in their respective sport. They somewhat become more collectible, but I don't know if if some people are actually going to pay for those and think that like they're supporting him. You know? But uh, that, that was just a little too weird. I mean, unless you knew the money was going to him, you know, then obviously that's a little different. But, yeah, I mean, I hope someone doesn't pay for that stuff. I, I would get it, though, like, right, if, he, if you were, if he was, like, selling something and you want to buy up his shit, right? Yeah, that's just... Some people are just messing around. But see, that's the thing. Imagine the seller does get it paid for. You know what I mean? Like, I get all the money that's been donated to his, like, charity, right? For toys. You know, he was only asking for so much. And obviously the word got out after everything. And people obviously want to support his his, his cause, which is a great thing. And surpassed it by the, in the millions. But, see, that's going to something that he was, do, you know, organizing himself or, you know, his family. But... It's not like uh, the person like me going up and posting an auto of his and then like, you know, you're supporting that seller. You're not supporting him, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little weird. But stuff like that always happens in the collectible world. Someone passes away or, you know, some good things happen to somebody, some bad things like that. And you just people just want to take advantage of anything.
I didn't check eBay like last week, but I would assume a lot of Pele stuff was listed. Yeah, it, it literally could just be one person literally just bidding up every single card, making those fake zero, you know, feedback kind of accounts, and yeah, I don't care. I mean, if somebody makes that much money off of that, like, would you be blaming the seller or would you be blaming the buyer? <laughs> But I did see, though, they made a report not too long ago, like maybe an hour ago, that uh, DeMar's um, uncle, godfather or uncle, said that, uh, of course, still intubated and um, was on 100% oxygen, but now is at 50%, so, which is a good sign, of course, you know, they want to make sure to get his breathing and lungs, you know, back to as normal as possible before they probably... You know, wake him up, potentially. So that's good. Yeah, well, I don't know about this. I don't know. Honestly, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't pay attention to Bill's football, and I didn't know who this guy was. I'll just be honest. I'm sure there was a lot of people that didn't know who this guy was. But, uh, you know, it's only his second year in the league, and he was like a six-round draft pick, so I can only I can only imagine that he only signed so much. Um, so, for somebody that wants to collect him now, I mean, I guess is a little different from, like, a Pele or someone like that that has been signing for over decades, you know? So, I don't know. That's, it's a little different for that case, you know? And I think a lot of his cards were, like, in combine uniform stuff, wasn't it? Practice? Because he was just, like I said, one of those lower-end players that was drafted late. And I think he was from Pitt, right? He went to Pitt. Pitt Panther. Oh, so that one seller had. Gotcha. Yeah, look, people are. We're horrible. We're horrible human. The human beings are horrible, Rex. We do a lot of bad things. And some people like to benefit off of shit like this. But hopefully. Oh, that's a joke. And uh, no one pays for that, actually. Yeah, no, for reals. I mean, I get that. 
I just think his is a little bit more interesting and a little bit more tough to understand because I get it when deaths happen, especially from Legends. Their stuff goes up. Kobe, Haley, I'm sure it's gone up a lot. But again, those guys sign a lot. But for somebody that doesn't sign a lot, it's a little different. But it's not like, you know, it's not... It's, most of the time when a card like that happens, it's like, uh, they're like a Brock Purdy, right? <laughs> they, uh... They come in and step in as a third stringer and undrafted or, you know, Mr. Irrelevant. And then all of a sudden, right, starts winning some ball games. And now his cards go for thousands when they were only going for $5. But his is totally different, you know. So the fact that that's even happening is crazy. But I don't know if anything has actually sold. So, I mean, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But I just is so funny because it's not like. It's not like uh, you're buying and, and making a crazy investment into it, right? It's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to buy this for $1,000 now, and, you know, it's, it's going to be worth $2,000 later. Like, for the people that are buying that and thinking that, it's, that's probably not going to happen. But I can see it on, like, a, a nobody becoming a superstar, right? Or, like, you know, some, some guy that's really good, right? Let's just say, like, a Kobe status, but just doesn't sign so much passes away tragically or really young in their life then then that's more of a more of an investment than anything but this situation I don't think is it's just uh, it's crazy Some of them didn't go for one hit? That's crazy. But yes. I would assume so too, man. I mean, I don't know what people were thinking, honestly. I, I, I get that part you said, the buyers. Or the sellers. Hey. Tempting, like you said. But for someone to actually want to pay for that, it's probably that's wild. I mean, unless you're like a super rich dude. It doesn't hurt your wallet. Alright guys, the last box. I know, right? It's like, imagine you were one of those guys that, you know, just had some because you were buying like the bills last year in products or whenever year, you know? And you just list them up because you just want to get rid of them. Maybe they've been sitting there for... A year already or months and then all of a sudden you wake up the next morning without knowing what's happening or the next day and then like, you're looking like someone paid a thousand dollars for your card you're like what the hell's going on here or in that sense you see that it did sell for like five bucks and you're like oh hell no i'm gonna cancel that say it's not available i sold already and then all of a sudden you just relist it. <laughs> People are savages, man. Horrible. I really don't think this is going to sell, though. It's ridiculous. And again, for the people that have a lot of money and want to, like, donate... I mean, hopefully they understand that that's not going to him.
All right, guys, here we go. Joe Barlow. It's the first autograph here in the next six. Texas Rangers. Uh, Texas Rangers is... Where are you at, Texas? Uh, AL West. Which is Martin. Suzuki Purple. Benya. the right mentality to have though at least if you're like uh, if you know the hobby All right, next box here, guys. Good luck. Torque. Yeah, that was a horribly soft center. Jesus. Julio. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on here? That's crazy because it's not every card. It's just like only some cards. Looks like this box, half of the purples are like that. Not all of them though, as you can see, this one's fine. But then, this one is. Jose Trevino. For the Yanks, to 250. Yankees is um, AL East. Which is Martin. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it horrible too, but not every box. But if that's one thing, that means, uh,. Whenever, whichever ones do great at PSA 10, then it's probably worth a lot more. Interesting. I'm not sure if Nick was aware of it or what. I mean, he could have already factored it into this too. It's probably why he put it up, maybe. I'm not too sure though. Honor Overton, Cincinnati Reds, Cincinnati. is NL Central, which is Devin. So that definitely goes to you, buddy. Oh, yeah. If they announced it last week, then he probably already factored it into this. Well, I know it sucks to hear this too, but Nick just told me earlier today 
up until yesterday, Blowout um, and all the other places had Flawless releasing tomorrow, but earlier this morning they announced that it's pushed now to 118. So it won't be coming out for another two weeks. Which I thought was weird that they were releasing Flawless before NT, but I guess maybe they barely realized that. I don't know. But it seems that NT will be coming out before Flawless, but now I got pushed back to 118. So I don't know. I was like, damn, I was looking forward to ripping that tomorrow, too. Alright, next one. Probably, but it, it's weird because now if they don't push back NT, NT's going to come out uh, next week before Flawless. <laughs> Unless they realize that they were releasing Flawless before then. But it's always been like Immaculate, NT, then Flawless. Two more boxes, guys. Ooh, that's a nice Wander Frank. I mean, it's a debut, but still a nice purple. Yeah, it's not every purple. It's just certain ones. I guess it's just the ones that got messed up on the machine. They probably made thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of those cards at one time, and it got messed up. Chris Paddock. Number to 99. So I think that's going to replace the auto there. So the last box should have an auto. Nice little Julio. Julio! All-star game. I will say, though, I haven't pulled a really, really good autograph out of this yet. Because I, I did a lot of these personals a few weeks back when it came out. It was really tough. And I think we got this guy earlier, didn't we? Oh, no, we got the other uh, B.O. B.O. This is Solster. Phil Solster. Or B.O. Baltimore Orioles. Which uh, Orioles is A out east, which is Martin.
Alright guys, well here are the main hits there, of course, like I said, if there's no auto, it replaces it there, and we ended up getting six autos, six numbered cards, just like that. So appreciate it guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com.